All right, ready? Please write percent on top of your paper, and we will discuss all the exciting ways to find percents. Uh, percents. By the way, percent simply means what? Somebody, anybody out there going once? Alex! Out of 100? The fifth, fifth person, yeah. Per 100 or out of 100. Cent being a cent, a penny, a century, whatever, out of 100. So when you go in the gym and you shoot, you know, eight out of ten free throws, you know, we've developed this little ratio so that you kind of get an idea, you know, your grades and everything. Instead of make, leaving them as fractions, we write them as percents. So eight out of the ten, we need to find out what equal ratio to that is out of a hundred. If you made eight out of ten free throws, how many would you probably make out of a hundred? Well, one way to find that out is, as you're going to tell me, Write this as something with 100 there. You multiply bottom by 10, top by 10, and you end up with what percent? 80 percent. Okay. We don't write it as a fraction 80 over 100. We just write the top of that 100 there. And maybe an easy way, I think we probably did, did this for you last year. Percent, it's easy to remember because if you rearrange... If you rearrange all the little things that make the percent symbol, I can actually do this. You know, you end up with, sorry, I will eventually get this, one, zero, zero, one hundred. Okay? Now, what if it's something, though, that doesn't go into a hundred? I know that's been on your mind lately. You know, what if you made five out of six free throws, or let's say five out of eight free throws? What percent, Andrew, you close that door, what percent would be five eighths? Now you could get pretty close. You could kind of do the same thing and get awful close by saying, oh, well, what times eight gives me close to? Oh, well, eight times nine is 72, eight times 10 is 80, eight times 11. 88, 8 times 12 is 96. That's pretty close. So, you know, your percent is going to be close to whatever 5 times 12 is. It's going to be close to 60%. But it's not going to be 60%. Well, not exactly, because of math, we try to use the exact thing. What do you do with a fraction to get it to be a percent? There's a couple different ways we could do this. Probably one of them better than the other. Andrew? You can multiply 100 over 8 by 5. Right? 100 over 8. Yeah. 100 over 8. Yeah. 100 over 8. Yeah. 100 over 1. Yes. I'm going to say yes to whatever you're saying, even though I don't know if it's true or not. You can always, children, always, always, always write this down. You can make... Anything, I'm going to capitalize anything, a percent by multiplying it by 100 percent, which may not make any sense to you right now, but in 30 seconds or less, you will be like, hmm, that's good enough. Or I'll just be thinking that's good for me to know. In other words, because this didn't go evenly into 100, I am going to take, what did I say, 5 eighths, right? If I take 5 eighths and multiply it by 100%, which I'd make it a fraction, 100% over 1, whatever I get for my answer to that will be in percent form, okay, which simply, oh. no, <laughs> are you kidding me? so it ends up being this, and again, it's going to take a little work, you hope, you hope you get a problem that works out like this, where you can kind of do most of it in your head, but in this case, you are going to have to do this, it's going to end up being 500 over 8, which means you need to take 8 
divide it into 500 and see what you get. 8 goes into 50, what, 6 times, and that's 48. 8 goes into 20, 2 times, that's 16. And then you can just leave your remainder as a fraction there. It's 62 and 0.5, or 62 and 1 half percent. I was pretty close with my 60%, but it is a little higher than that, it's 62 and a half percent. Okay, so you can always, no matter what it is, just like one third as a fraction or as a percent, you probably know what it is. But if you didn't know what it is, you would just multiply it by 100%. And it means you get 100 divided by 3. How many times does 3 go into 100? 33 and 1 third percent times. I don't know, do they give us decimals? They don't, unfortunately. Uh, or how about this question here? Janice, I don't know why she's playing basketball, but she was, scored 30% of the team's 50 points. Scored 30% of the team's 50 points. How many points did she score? Thoughts on that? Give you a couple helpful little hints here. The word of in math means multiply. So I want to know what 30% of slash times 50 points is. How in the wide, wide world of sports would I do that? By the way, you can't multiply with this being a percent. You either got to change it to a, you either got stuff, you either got stuff, either you have to change it to a decimal or a fraction. And Cabron says, let's change it to a fraction. Yeah, because 30 over 100 times 50 over what number would give me what? You could reduce this to something if you wanted, or just take... 30 times 50 is 1,500, and divide that by 100, guess what 1,500 divided by 100 is? 15 points she scored. Now, a little well-known fact, Grace Watson, is this. Did you know? Did you know? So this is an F, Y, I, because this can help you out a lot more times than you not. Do you know that 30% of 50 is the same thing as 50% of 30? So why would it be more helpful for me to think about it as 50% of 30? Because 50% is the same as half, and half of 30 is 15. What could that be helpful for us? Well, if I did this, children, 16, yeah, well, 20, yeah, well, 16% of 25 does not look like that fun of a problem, does it? But if I flip that around and say 25% of 16, what is 25% fraction form? Four, this is four of sixteen. Four. This is four. This is four. So you can, if you think about it, help you out. Flip that thing around. You know, what if I said, uh, you know, well, let's look and see what they ask me. Yeah. Or, well, here, let me give you this tough one here. What if they asked you to change 12 and 1 half percent, change that to a fraction? You probably know what 12 and a half percent is, but what if I didn't know it? How would I change that to a fraction? 
I'd like to go off to assignments. Nobody has suggestions? All right, let's, stop. let's go back and think here just a little bit. What if I was changing 20% to a fraction? What would I do to 20 to change it to a fraction? Hold it. Put it over 100. Take 20 over 100, reduce it, I get 1 fifth. Well, why can't I do that with this? Somebody, why can't I take 12 and a half and put it over 100, Brian? No, you can't. That's the answer. Don't tell me that. 12 and 1 half over 100. A little complex fraction work. What do I do with that? Anybody? Somebody help me out. See this? Remember when I told you in sixth grade that seventh grade math gets just notched up a little bit? That's this. Yes. What is, tw what is 12 and a half as a, a proper fraction? 12 times 2 is? Plus 1. This is 25 over 2 over 100. How do I make 100 a fraction? Put over one. What does a fraction bar mean? Division. 25 over 2 divided by, how about that? 25 over 2 divided by 100 over 1. Have we ever divided fractions in your life? This is kind of tough. How do I divide by this? Somebody? Brooke? Anybody, what do I do with that? Well, let's cancel the 25 and the 100. Guess what my answer? 12 and a half percent is what fraction? 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 4 is 8. I don't know about that. I got my questions on that still. All right, children, for tomorrow. You won't run a